Hi guys! I thought I would do a very short video on my Lush makeup haul um, from the Lush Oxford Street store. I have bought some eye powders, I've bought some um, eye jewels, I've brought some more lipsticks. I never wear lipstick. Ever. And now I've got three. And now I'm wearing lipstick. I, I feel like Lush is changing me and I'm not too sure if I like it. Well, let's start with the lipsticks. Now there are 18 to 20 new lipsticks, just as a brief look when I went into the store yesterday. Such an amazing range of colours. I'm I'm going to have to buy them all because I just have to. I just feel I have to. Um, but I have managed to narrow down three at the moment that I really liked and thought, you know what, that would suit me. I'll wear that. So I bought them. So they are called... I'll show you there they are amorous ambition and joy now ambition is the one i'm wearing at the moment this is the one that stood out for me straight away because it is such a gorgeous i don't know if you can see that vivid red it's absolutely gorgeous um and i'm wearing that one as you can tell i don't want to come too close because i've got you know horrible face but this is just basically a really bright bread that stands out and for people that are ambitious or want to go for a job interview or just having a good day and want to kick ass. So Joy is like a sort of peachy orangey. I'm really sorry about the light. I will do swatches and pictures of these. You can't really see that at all. I don't know if that's going to help. I don't, I don't know. I have, I have no idea about anything. Um, it's like a an orangey bronzy sort of colour probably can't see that very well but I shall like I say post really good pictures of all of these so you can see the full extent of the colours then we have this one here which is amorous which I really loved it's like a deep copper brown like a no not a copper brown like a rusty brown colour but it does oh it's gorgeous it has these little sparkles on as well and again you probably won't be able to see this because my camera is terrible but it's just I don't know why I'm sniffing it it's a lipstick these three, I'm guessing, work exactly the same way. I'm not going to explain how you put on a lipstick because if you don't know, I'm, I'm worried for you. <laughs> um, but what I found really good, and I'm not, like I say, this is the only lipsticks I've ever owned in my life. Um, but what I love about them is once they go on, they stay on. And I was really worried that, I, you know, I'd, I'd smudge my lip against things, I'd drink water from a glass and get the little you know, the horrible print on the on the glass and you don't get that at all. The only thing I would say is after a couple of hours, you might need to just go over the, the inner bit of your lips because I do find if you eat and you're out and about and you're doing things, that does tend to fade a little bit. Uh, I've got two of these which I've not tried yet, so I can't tell you what they are, but they're lip tints. They are the Strawberry Bombshell, which if you want to have a quick look, is a really gorgeous bright neon pink. And this actually, shares its scent with the uh, yummy 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 range and then there's sun kissed it smells of pine this one has a nice kind of again like a rusty red sort of color rusty ready brown which is really nice i have four of the eye powders uh so these are the eye powders and they come in really really cute little jars and they are two grams each the actual jar probably weighs more than the actual product inside so this one's arty and there's also another one which i can't think what it's called but i think i think it begins with c um c is a black one and this one is a black one but it has and if you i don't want to tip it up and waste it it's black but of lots of sparkles in like silver and gold sparkles and all you have to do is take a little bit and apply it to the skin and when I say that you need a minute amount sparkles you really need the tiniest amount I tried to put this on my eyes earlier and twice I had to rub it off because it just I only dipped my brush slightly in there and I ended up just covering my entire face and it just had so much there you can also take a little bit of water and then apply I get a tiny bit out of that getting it wet apply here we go it on top of a slightly wet surface and it becomes more like a wet eyeliner 
So you can tell, see the difference there between the two. This is just with dry skin and applying it straight on. And this is a little bit of water underneath and then applying it over. That was RT. So that is a black with a nice little kind of goldy, silvery shimmer. We've got Victorious here, which is really nice. It looks like it's gold. I'll just do a very quick swatch for you. It's more like a yellow gold. But it's really nice. And if you can see it there. Like a nice sort of glimmer there. And this, because the brush is still wet, that is showing you what it's like with a bit of water. So that is Victorious. I've got Cherish. And it was really hard picking these guys. I just picked the first four I could see that I thought were quite nice because I thought I'm going to get them all eventually. This is Cherish and this is a really nice sort of shimmery. I've used too much here. But a nice shimmery sort of pale pink colour. So that was that one there. Again, just to repeat myself, that is Cherish. And the last one is Enchanted. And this one I haven't even used before. It looks like a nice pale pink again. Yeah, it's like a pearly, a really light. You might not even be able to see this one in the light. Like a pearly pink, but there's a different shade there. So there's a point here. This is the that one I've just used, which is Captivated. No, that's Enchanted. That one there. And then that one there is the Cherish. There's about 20 of them. I've got four. I'll get them all over time. As you know, as money grows on trees where I live. And then finally, which some of you guys are really interested in, is the eye jewels. And there are 12 of these to collect. They are £10 each, which sounds quite expensive, but they last for ages. I say this, I've only had them for about two weeks, but they will last for ages. So I've got, as you can see now, I've got eight out of the 12. So next time I go in, I'm going to pick up the other four. To use these, you can do many things. You can take them directly and apply them on the eyelids um, and that will get you a really, really thick, um, I'll show you what they look like in a minute, that will give you a really, really thick eyeshadow. Or you can take a eyeshadow brush and apply them that way or perhaps even again, very similar to these, just dab it in the middle and then use your fingers to smudge it around if you want a bit of definition. With both of these, both of the eye jewels and the eye powders. You can also um, mix and match, add a couple and um, blend them together and they work perfectly and they blend so easily. And again, once they set, they will stay there. Stay there, not stale, stay there all day. Uh, so I have, as I said, I've got eight and this is going to be a test for me to see if I can name them all. And if I get it wrong, I apologize. And again, I will do proper swatches and pictures of all of these so you can see the colors in a better light than this. So the main one, the darkest one they do is this one here. And this is contrast. I wouldn't say it's straight on black. It's like a pearly black more like a dark kind of metallic grey but very very dark metallic grey so that is contrast uh, then I'm going to do this one here this is the seducer so this is a really really nice sort of bronze more like coppery bronze sort of colour it's got a nice shimmer to it so that is the seducer and then we have this one here which is another gold this is called triumphant and how these two differ, there is another one as well called Hope in gold, but this is like a nice, this isn't a straightforward really yellowy gold, this is more like a, a rustic old fashioned sort of gold, I love it. I'm talking rubbish. Uh, then we have this one here, which I believe is called Excite, and that's straightforward silver, that works with everything. I've tried it with all of these colours and it just adds that little bit of glimmer, really, really nice. Oh, this is a really nice deep purple one called Devout. I love this one here. You can't really see it in the light here, but it's a really nice deep sort of purple. Uh, this green is called Lucky. And I'm thinking on the front that it's supposed to be a lucky, a four leaf quaver, should I say. It looks a little bit suspiciously like something else, which I won't go into, but that is Lucky. 
and there's quite a lot of greens here which I like oh now I'm down to my last two this is a dark sort of turquoise green and this is called zealous put one there and this is going to show me up now this is the last one and again it's very similar to zealous very similar in fact in your light you might not even be able to tell that much of a difference but this one here well you can actually this one here is more turquoise blue and this is more of a, a foresty green like a mossy green so that is zealous and this one here is called ah it's called serene so that is serene and so they are eye jewels and as i said you can apply them directly onto your face or you can use one of your nice brushes and pop it onto your face either way and there are 12 of the eye jewels a good 18 to 20 of the eye powders a good 20 to 25 lipsticks um and that's just those three products i'm not even going to go into the nude palettes and the pink palettes and the red palettes and everything else but those are just some of the products i bought that i'll be reviewing very soon on my blog for you to check out and yeah i hope you've enjoyed my ramblings